Yeah, I thought, um, you know, it wasn't uh, a, a particularly clean game um, that we played this evening, but I thought we had a chance uh, late in the game um, to really earn a victory, but we left some points on the free throw line, and, um, you know, we didn't come up with the big stop when we needed to stop. Uh, Sadler made a big play with the shot clock running down, and, um, and um, Boney made a big three. Uh, that was a dagger. Um, so, you know, credit to, to Delaware. They stepped up. They made their free throws uh, throughout the game. They made uh, shots when they needed to, um, you know, when the game got tight. And, um, you know, that's what winning basketball is all, all about. I thought they stepped up and won the game, um, which is a credit to them. You guys did a really good post play tonight. Hard black and Ryan Pierce. And uh, even uh, Ben Gilles did in the game. Maybe talk about them and the big decision to put uh, Ben in so early. Well, you know, I, I knew, um, you, you know, Higgins is a physical post player and, um, you, you know, he's, he's, he's got great legs and he's, he's, he's a load down there in the low post. And, um, you know, he, he got Ryan on a couple of the early possessions and really got deep post position. And, uh, you know, Ben's been practicing really well. He's a great teammate. And, um, you know, I just kind of felt like he could give us a boost there, particularly against that type of player. And uh, very, very proud that he stepped up and, and did a nice job. Um, really kind of settling us down and, and giving us a backbone in the low post defensively, and even scored a couple of buckets. Yeah, I mean, I, and even Dinko is, is that's the problem. You know, Kari was playing so well. You know, I thought he did a nice job on the backboard for us and 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 kept us going against McNeil. We really needed one matchup against Hagen's that big body and and. You know, when Ben gave us some quality minutes, kind of felt like it was it was his game, and kind of stay with him and Ryan, and give them the opportunity to get it. And you know, I thought they did a solid job, you know, throughout the game on him. Chase, uh, you and uh, Joel combined only go two of eleven from shooting three point distance, well below your season average. Is there something about their defense that really gave you guys trouble, or was it just a situation of missing shots? Uh, they made us take some tough shots. Uh, their defense played very well. Uh, Hagen's in, on the inside forced us to take some jumpers that we normally wouldn't take, and uh, basically their defense, yeah. They have some pretty good perimeter defenders, and, um, you know, obviously, you, you, you know, we, we need to make shots uh, to win basketball games at, at this point in our development. And typically, we're a very, very good three-point shooting team and a good foul shooting team. And I thought, uh, you know, we were just a little bit off on, in both those areas today. Um, you know, if we shoot our average in both those areas, uh, you know, you know, we'd have a different feeling right now. But uh, credit them and, and their defense. Um, you know, it's just something that, you, you know, we have to work to get better shots and, and better looks and, and shoot a better percentage. Camille Higgins had eight blocks the first time you guys played. It looked like tonight he was making a conscious effort to stay away from him. But I think a byproduct of that was a little isolation basketball. Did you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. I thought Ryan made a, a really nice post move against him. Uh, you know, I think the thing is you can't uh, wait on him. You know, if you have position, you know, you can you can give one fake and then you got to you gotta make your move and it's got to be a quick move and your stronger move. I thought Ryan made a move with his left hand um, early in the in, in the first half that wasn't as strong and then the, back in the second half he came back and he came back with a strong hand off a counter and uh, you, you know when you're playing against a shot blocker you got to try to beat him with your best move it can't be a secondary move um, he did make a big block uh, on Ryan late um, and I thought there was, there was a little bit of contact underneath but he, he made it he made a big block on Ryan um, late, so he's, you know, got to give him credit. He's one of the best shot blockers, not only in the conference, but in the, in the country. It seemed like you guys started out shooting really well, but then after, I guess, the first 10 minutes or so, uh, shot selection and the execution just kind of went downhill. Maybe you can both talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'd have to go back and see that, that portion of the game that you're referring to, but, you know, that's something that's come and gone with us. Um, you, you know, right now we we need to score points to win, and when we're flowing and we're getting good ball movement, I thought in the first half, um, you know, I pointed out to the team we only had four assists, I think, on 11 baskets, and usually that ratio is 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 much better for us when we're playing our brand of basketball. We're sharing the ball, the ball's moving, 
from from side to the top to the side and we're getting penetration either by the pass or the dribble into the paint and I didn't think we did that um, great tonight uh, I, I thought we you know we scored a little bit around the rim but we didn't we didn't really get inside out basketball we didn't get any quick drives with, which led to some kick out threes most of our threes were off you know dribble weave type stuff on the perimeter and they kept us on the perimeter so um, you know we're at our best when we get into the lane uh, with our guards and we throw one or two extra passes coming out of that situation then we'll get a feet set three and and that's when we're at our best. Those shots usually go in. Chase, can you talk a little bit? I know we've discussed Hagen's, but how, how specifically did he disrupt your game in driving and being able to kick out for some of those open threes like Coach Tucker? Well, having that big presence uh, in there, we knew uh, from the last game he had eight blocks. And uh, it was in the back of our minds. Uh, when we get in there, you know, we have to shoot a floater or shoot over top of him or uh, have to avoid him somehow. And <coughs> Uh, he disrupted us a little bit, and uh, some of those kick-out threes that we weren't able to hit down, knock down today that we usually hit uh, kind of mess us up. There were a couple times there were just some sloppy passes. Was there any kind of mm. lack of focus on the team at all? I mean, there was a couple of stretches yeah. where it just seemed like a few passes in a row would just you know, go off some of these hands out of bounds, not focusing. Yeah, we had, we had sloppy ball handling. I mean, uh, you know, when we look at it, I, they didn't press us at all. And I looking at the stat sheet, we had, you know, 14 turnovers. But I agree, a lot of them were unforced. You know, we just mishandled the ball or, you know, took our eye off the ball and misdribbled it or, you know, things that, you know, we've done a very, very good job of taking care of the ball all year long. And when you play a three-guard lineup, you, you almost have to do that. Uh, you have to handle the ball well and you have to shoot the ball well. And tonight we, we really got neither of that um, with that lineup. But I still thought we were in position to win the basketball game. Uh, you know, coming down, tie game, uh, you know, we got to make our free throws and we got to get a stop. And if you do that, you know, it's, it's, it's a different basketball game. So I don't, uh, by far, we didn't play our best game. It was sloppy ball handling and, and uh, you, you know, not great b ball, uh, body movement on offense. And, you know, when you do that, you don't, you, you're, quality of your shot goes down and um, you know maybe it's just a rhythm thing or maybe the result of coming back from playing so many minutes on Saturday uh, and having a disappointing loss on that but you know we got to put this game behind us and, and try to get ready for, for, for bracket busters on Saturday. How much is that game going to let you guys try and get back on your feet? Is it kind of a break for you guys going into the last two CAA games? I think it's always good to get to get out of the conference. I mean people are um, you know, have different opinions. I think the bracket buster is great. I think it gives you an opportunity to uh, experience different programs from 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 different parts of the country, uh, from different conferences. At this point in the league, you know, you we have so familiar with our opponents and our opponents so familiar with us. Sometimes uh, it's good to get out of conference and 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 really play against an opponent that doesn't know maybe doesn't know all your plays um, and so you can get a little bit of rhythm back so it'll be interesting but they're a great program they have a great coach and uh, they're having a terrific season so it'll be a challenge on Saturday.